Premier Bank, the Bone and Joint Clinic, Doctors Hospital, Bellar Communications, and Grid and Chode Incorporated. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Joe Raymond Peace Show. I'm Dave Nitz, along with the head football coach of the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, Joe Raymond Peace. Well, Coach Peace, uh, opening up the 1989 football season, the first time for Division 1A, and I know I had to make Bulldog fans everywhere really proud. Oh, I know the Louisiana Tech people and, and so many, so many of our supporters that have pushed for that Division 1. Uh, I know they're proud of those Bulldogs tonight. It was a great experience, a very positive experience, and, uh, you know, when a group of coaches and young men go out there and represent the uni university in the manner they did today, it makes everyone proud. The game plan, Brian Mitchell, we'd heard so much about him all year long and actually for the last three years. What was the game plan for Tech going into the game Saturday night? Uh, let, let me say this, you know, with our coaches, the offense and defense, all the credit to this win goes to those guys. Uh, we knew that we had to take uh, Brian Mitchell away from their offense. He's such a great athlete and so versatile and can do so many things. Every time he touches the ball, you hold your breath. Uh, but again, we came away with a game plan that was fortunate enough to take him away, and, and uh, that's the key to uh, stopping USL. Well, it was an exciting night at Cajun Field in Lafayette, and we'll be back and take a look at first half highlights in just one moment. Well, it was an exciting night at Cajun Field in Lafayette as the Bulldogs took on USL. It was always a great rivalry and uh, a great game plan, and I know you're really excited for these young men. Well, I'll tell you what, Dave, these young men, hard work pays off. But, you know, the big thing, we've got some physical young men. We've got some great talent there. Uh, we've got great quickness, uh, as we noticed tonight. Uh, but one of the things, the attributes of this football team that stands out to me as much as anything is the spiritual leadership we have on this football team. If you could have been with me Friday night uh, with our players at our Fellowship of Christian Athletes, uh, with our coaches and players, uh, there's no doubt God was on our side, and that's what we played for. Starting the football game Saturday night, uh, a couple of fumbles early by USL, but, you know, so many times if a team, if you don't take advantage of uh, misfortunes of another team, it really doesn't do you any good, but you were able to do that. Well, the defense came up with those, those turnovers for us early. Uh, naturally, when we... Uh, had the opportunity there to take advantage of putting uh, 10 points on the board. Our, our offense did that, and it gives you that uh, first half momentum or puts you in that situation to where, hey, if, if they hustle and they make those turnovers offensively, we'll put them on the board. So it makes both uh, happy. A couple of guys I want to talk about, one of the newcomers, Eddie Brown, and, of course, quarterback Gene Johnson. What nights they had. Well, Eddie Brown, in recruiting Eddie Brown, we knew he had the potential to be a big play guy for us, and he certainly proved that tonight. Uh, Eddie's given us a dimension maybe that we haven't had in the last couple of years of a guy on special teams and also as a receiver to come up with those big plays. So I was awfully proud of him and, and the way he uh, performed tonight. Gene, I, I knew it improved. Uh, I felt like he understood our offense after a year and a half. He showed that tonight. He showed a lot of poise. And, uh, you know, when you when you've got a young man that you work so hard with and wants to do so well, it's a pleasure to coach someone like that that uh, can go out there and, and be productive for you. As Mitchell under center, it's ready to take the snap, puts one man in motion, keeps the ball, crumbles, it's loose at the 24, and the Bulldogs have recovered. Louisiana Tech has come up with the fumble recovery, and Tony Smith, defensive right tackle, the senior out of Miami, Florida, has recovered the fumble. Tied in right, slot left side, split, uh, split into the left. Johnson wants the throw, pumps, throws, and he completes it. Out down to the... 20-yard line and inside the 20, holding will be Brad Boozer, the junior college transfer from Navarro Junior College in Texas. Snap is down, the kick is up, it's long enough, it's high enough, and it is good. A 44-yard field goal by Matt Silver. There's time out on the field, 13.08 remaining in the first quarter. The score, Louisiana Tech 3, USL nothing. Long snap count, Tech in a four-man front, one man in motion. Mitchell keeps the ball, rolls, he pitches it back, there's a fumble, loose on the field, I think the dogs have it, 
at the 26-yard line. Louisiana Tech has come up with it, and coming up with the fumble is Stan Polk, the junior out of Queen City, Texas. The pitch back that time, Zero, went to P.D. Broussard, and it was not a good pitch back. It looked like he had almost steel for hands as the ball just kept bouncing around, and the dogs have come up with their second fumble recovery. Tech with a first down and 10. Johnson at quarterback, rolls left, pulls up, looks to throw, pitches it, and it is complete. Did he catch it in bounds? Yes, he did. Bobby Slaughter with a great one-headed catch just inside the 15-yard line. Oh, he went high in the air to pull it down. They're on the near hash mark this time with a split backfield, and Fitz Henry goes in motion. The pitch to Douglas cuts it back five, four, three, two, maybe to the one. It's not a uh, trace, not grass over the ball at center. Hand off Douglas, touchdown. Dogs have scored on a touchdown left side, Gary Douglas, and it's nine to nothing. We'll have Eddie Brown back. Here's a high floating kick coming down. Brown back, catches it at the 45 turn. He's across midfield. He's down the sideline. Flags are down to 35, 20. He is going all the way, but he'll bring it back. They will bring it back, I'm sure. And there's the clip has already been called. So the Bulldogs, who have not driven yet, two scores both coming on turnovers. Johnson to throw. Has some time. Throws complete. Bobby Slaughter, 40. He's at the 45, 46-yard line and a first down. Looking at third and long at midfield, and Johnson to throw. Has some time now, being pressure, throws it on the run, and Derek Douglas on the run, catches at 40. He's at the 35 and down to the 34-yard line of USL, and that'll be a first down. Johnson at quarterback, takes the snap, gives it, Douglas, Douglas 30, Douglas at the 27-yard line on a draw play off the right side. Second down and eight check, just inside the 20, and Johnson rolls left, pulls up, wants to throw, throws for the end zone, and it is caught for a touchdown. And it's Eddie Brown on a great catch. It was 19 yards, and I mean, he pulled it down right over the head, and what a great throw by Gene Johnson. He put it right on the money. It's third down. Let's call it about 10 and a half, almost 11 to go for a first down. USL at the Louisiana Tech 45-yard line. Here is Mitchell. He is in case he hit. He fumbles the football. They're going to call him complete pass. I don't believe it. I don't believe that one. Lorenzen Baker hitting from the blind side, and he never had the arm cocked. He never had it cocked at all. And they roll it in complete pass, and there will be a kicking situation, but it should have been a fumble. Brian Mitchell under center. Takes the snap, rolls near side, hit, drops the football off, and out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Here is Mitchell. Here's the draw, I think. No, he's going to keep it. He's hit and dropped at the 15. Well, there they had the draw play set up, the quarterback draw, and all of a sudden the hole just closed, and the Bulldogs had all kinds of white jerseys all on top of Brian Mitchell. A 32-yard field goal attempt. The ball is down. The kick is on its way, and it's no good. It's off to the left. It is no good. That's the end of the first half with the score, Louisiana Tech 17 and USL 7. Well, Coach Peace, it was 17-7 to at the half. You got the opening kickoff in the second half. It's so important that you do something with the football positively in that first drive, and you were able to do it Saturday night. Yes, we talked about that, you know, right before we went out, and uh, we were talking as a coaching staff, and I addressed the players and told them the same thing. It's very, very important that we take that first drive, establish something, and either with three points or seven points. And, and when you take that first drive after the coming out of there in that second half and get points on the board, then you know, that, uh, your opponent there starts thinking they may be in for a long night. And, of course, there were so many individual heroes Saturday night. Matt Stover. Right, and you know, as I said before, and I said one year ago, you know, States, you know, Matt had the misfortune in a rainy game and missed some, and some people... Uh, we're kind of down on him a little bit, and like I said then, I got the best kicker in the country, and uh, believe me, I still believe that. You know, USL had seven turnovers, but the defense makes those things happen, don't they? Yes, indeed. I tell you what, defensively, we've got so much quickness and speed, and they play so hard. And if they'll continue to improve and get better, I think we'll have a chance to have an outstanding defense this year. You know, I thought the turning point of the game, especially in that second half, was the kickoff return of Eddie Brown after they had uh, returned. <laughs>
taking it and, and putting the points on the board for us again. I think that was the point maybe it broke their back. Michael Richardson is the slot to the right side. Derek Douglas is the lone setback. Douglas gets the call off to the right side. 35, 40, sets it back, 45-yard line and trips up at the last moment at the 45-yard line. This time Richardson is slot left and back to throw. Johnson looks, he throws, and he completes it down to the USL 40 and inside the 40 and out of bounds. Making the reception is tight end Derek Fitzhenry, the senior out of DeKalb, Texas. First down and 10, Tech at the USL 36-yard line. Far.